Que viene el gran chingón, el mero mero. Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Happy Friday to every single one of you. <laughs> thank you for the support, it means a lot. It's great to see your beautiful comments. I like to read them and respond to them. So thank you very much once again. Appreciate every single one of you. I really do, with all my heart. Today's shave soap will be with the new soap that I got from the uh, the razor company this, this week, this past week, a couple days ago. And uh, this soap is called Inspiración de Luso from Shannon Soaps. They've been around since uh, 2011, and they uh, they're from Iowa, handmade in Iowa. And this is collaboration with the Razor Company. Four ounces of soap and their Chupacabra base. Inspiración de Luso once again. Side label right there. The ingredients which I'm gonna uh, read them out to you because I don't think you'll be able to read them because my zoom sucks. Sp Spinified with potassium and sodium hydroxides. Oils, butters of tallow, cocum, avocado, cocoa, shea, stearic acid, coconut, glycerin, lanolin, coconut oil, goat's milk, Metal extract, buckthorn extract, metal foam, seed oil, vitamin E, and fragrance. This is a soap here. Brand new soap that was uh, gifted to me from Jason from the Razor Company. The owner of the Razor Company. Thank you very much, my brother. I really appreciate you for uh, being so generous and sending this my way as a gift. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, this is a really nice pour, as you can see right now, and uh, very nice scent to the soap. I would say it's a little bit stronger than medium. Me is medium strong, I would say. And it's fifteen ninety nine available at therazorcompany.com. So if you guys are interested, if anyone's interested in the soap, please jump on it because it's only a limited edition. This is a fresh light aquatic with jasmine neroli on top with a cedar patchouli, rock rose, musk at the bottom. And this is the chupacabra base once again, exclusive for, for the razor company. Shannon Soap Special Edition Shaman Soap, Inspiracion de Luso. And this is hot processed soap. To me, what I smell this soap is aquatic scent. And this reminds me of uh, Aqua de Gio, the uh, cologne fragrance from uh, Giorgio Armani, I believe it is. And uh, I got various uh, scented soaps in this uh, in uh, this scent here. And uh, as soon as I opened up the tub, I knew it was Aqua de Gio. Very nice scented soap. I can't wait to try it. I have used Shannon soaps in the past. I got a, uh, a full puck of their. Uh, I believe it's lavender and uh, it has menthol in it. I don't recall the name, but I have it. I'll be showing it in a picture towards the end of my video. And I also got a uh, soap sample here, the barbershop from Shannon Soaps, which is great. Great scented uh, barbershop scent. I enjoy using Shannon Soaps. It's a husband and wife team. And they make soaps and splashes, and they make uh, all kinds of scented soaps. They've been around for quite a while, 2011. And they have a variety of bases. But this is the tallow with goat's milk. Jerry wants to say hi. <laughs> He's gonna take a bath right now. Fist pump, yay! You gonna let me do my shave video? You gonna let me do my shave video? Can I get a kiss? Can I get a kissy? Pichito?
Ay. Y mi besito, papá. Come on, besito. ¿No besito? Oh, you want to show your shirt? Oh, look at He's wearing his Yoda. His baby Yoda shirt. It says, uh, Galaxies Most Wanted. <laughs> it's all about you, huh, papá? Forget me. It's all about you, huh? Fist pump. Psh. I love you, I love you. I missed you all day. Yes, fist pump. 20 fist pumps, Papa. Yay. Say hi, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining. We appreciate the support. Bye-bye. I'm going to take a shower. <laughs> Got a mess everywhere already. I'm going to be shaving with my razors here that I just honed up and uh, restored them. First off, this is my, my Manhattan Cutlery Company, Sheffield, 7 8 square point. You guys won't be able to see the stamp there, but believe me, that's what it says. This razor here was uh, had some rust pitting. There's some pitting on there still. I wasn't able to uh, take all of it off, but it still looks good. And I just honed her yesterday, and I put these uh, gold pins on her. Well, the top one, because the bottom one I already had there. I already had a gold pin there. These are bullseye pins. And uh, this is a uh, quarter hollow, I believe. Seven eighths uh, square point. I'm going to be shaving with that one, and I'm going to show you the next one right now. I'm trying to show this, uh, get this picture here to see uh Show you uh, to make sure what hollow it is. I have it here in my phone. What are you doing? You cleaning, Papa? Uh, I believe it's quarter hollow. The picture is on this phone here, and I can't go to it right now because I'm uh, videoing the, the video. But uh, yeah, and here's my next razor I'm about to show you that I got today, and I'm so stoked about this razor here. Because uh, she was very expensive. But not only that, this is over a 100 year old razor. This is a waiting butcher for barber shoes. I don't know if you guys can see that. And uh, she had some rust, very minimal rust, not very much. She had some rust in between the pin there on top of the, uh, uh, on top of the tail right there in the middle, right here, which I got all out. And some on the bottom of the blade right here which I got all out as well. I shined her up some with some mother's compound and she's shiny. She was already shiny when I got her, but uh, she has some pitting there as you can see. I, I could not take that off on the top of the, uh, the shank there as well. But this is a quarter hollow as well. This is an eight eights barber's use. Square point, waiting butcher, Sheffield razor. And it has uh, horn scales. The horn scales are not bad. They have some scratches on them. But I uh, I cleaned her up very well. And I can't wait to shave with this one. I have not, uh, I have not honed this blade. I got it out of the package and uh, was lightly oiled. And I just wanted to see if she was sharp. And I tested her on my, uh, on my forearm here with my hair. And uh, she was cutting hair. So hopefully... She cuts hair during my shave. If not, then I'll be using my Manhattan Cutlery Sheffield razor here with caramel bone scales. Let me lather my soap and I will be right back, okay? I'm gonna put him in the bath and uh, I'll start the process of my soap. I'll be back. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Got the soap here. My son's in the bath water, so I'm gonna watch him while I shave. The only way I can shave is if my son's in there because he'll be running around and I'm gonna be using two straight razors, so I don't want him to bump into me and I accidentally get cut. So let's uh, start off. Right now with my brush, new brush in the din. If you guys, if everyone saw my video yesterday, uh, my mail call video, I unboxed this uh, beautiful brush here, a uh, pearlescent metallic. Dark Sanctum brush with a new bottle cap on the bottom, Jose's bottle cap. 
been sealed by Karina, his girlfriend. But they, uh, 30 millimeter quarter moon Milton turn and shave knot synthetic. Very beautiful, as you can see. These knots are great. They uh, splay awesome and they uh, have great backbone and uh, they're very soft. Here's my soap here. This is a, ferdy, uh, a firm to uh, soft soap. If I press my uh, finger in it, I can make it uh, in, the, in, in, the, in there and a dent in there. And uh, it's medium to soft soap in the firmness. All right, let me wet my brush here. Let's get started. Hope everyone's having a fantastic Friday. Thank God it's Friday, finally. All right, my brush is damp. Let's start the load of this brand new puck here. Thanks to Jason at the Razor Company. Aqua de Geo scent, scented. It's an aqua scent. This is very well blended, in my opinion. Um, so I can't get every individual note from the soap itself, but I know and I can tell that it's an aqua scent by just smelling it. it smells lovely. I believe I have enough there. Let me get a couple more swirls. Let's see where that takes me. Now I'll go back to the puck, but I don't think I will. I got about a week's growth on the face. Ready to tackle, tackle this growth down, get rid of it. Oh, this week was a tough one for me. <laughs> I thought it would never end, but thank God it did. And it's finally Friday, tomorrow's Saturday. Got a day off tomorrow. I'm always off on the weekends, which I'm blessed for that. All right, let's start the load on my face with the Chupacabra base from uh, Shannon Soap. And this is from the uh, Shannon Soap's collaboration with the Razor Company. Excuse the splashing. My son is loud. Hey, calm down. Too much splash. Like I was explaining, this place is very beautiful, this knot here. It's one of my favorite knots from Milton. One of my favorite synthetic, synthetic knots. And this is lathering. Great as you can see. Very beautiful scent. Medium scented strength on the scent. It's not overpowering and it's not light. It's right down in the middle. Great sheen, great creaminess that I'm seeing on my face. And I'm rather in the soap on my face. See that beautiful shine from it, the, uh, the sheen. The soap can take water. As I'm putting water there, the lather is not breaking down. So that's great. Like I was trying to mention earlier, Shining Soaps is fantastic soap in my opinion. I have a very dense, creamy lather on my face right now. And my brush is kicked, truly kicked. Don't need, don't look like I'm gonna be needing, needing to go back to the uh, tub. I have plenty there. Just clean up some here.
Hopefully my son lets me uh, shave. Get through the process of the shave. Okay, I'm gonna be shaving with my uh, barber's use. Waiting butcher barber's use blade. Eight eight quarter hollow square point horn scales. Let's see if this is uh, smooth because if it's not, then I'll just shave with my uh, other razor. So far, so good. She's not tugging. It looks like the person that uh, sold me this razor uh, was honed. So as soon as I took it out the box, I uh, checked for the blade, the, the, the edge of the blade to see if it cut, and it did. It took off my arm hairs really quick. Papa, calm down, calm down. Very smooth edge. Just taking off my growth. Awesome. Very thick soap. As I'm lathering, I mean, as, as I'm rinsing in my blade right here, I can see the density of the uh, of the soap here, and it's pretty damn thick. It has a really nice edge. I'm gonna keep these scales on here. As long as they don't uh, break, because they're pre they're pretty well intact for being an old razor. I don't know if they, if these are the original scales. They look like they are, but she came in great shape too. Usually these razors are heavily rusted and bad shape, and uh, she came in. Good condition, not the best because she has a uh, pitting on there, but I don't have the, the the Dremel right now, so I can't buff her out with compound, or else I would try to. But she's good like this right now. She's shaving so far great. I can see my growth coming off as I just showed you. My hair growth is coming off without no issues. Once again, guys, look at that. Everyone, I mean, I got to get in the habit of saying everyone. Apologize for that. But these waiting butchers, they're, they're, they're awesome. I love having a piece of vintage Nostalgia in my shaved in. Now, razor, I believe, is over a hundred years old. I strapped her about 50 laps on my leather. And uh, she feels good. I'm using my left hand here. Always used to. Uh, I always love to use my both hands. It gives me great control when I do. I have a most recent uh, video posted on. The Razor Company's channel, if you want to check that out, I'll be putting down a link down below. I was using a Barrister and Man's Oceana. I was doing a side-to-side -side comparison with the Lala Oceana, the older soap, and the new soft heart base from uh, Barrister and Man Oceana. And it was a great video, and I enjoyed making it for the Razor Company. 
to the early waves available right now. The Razor Company, guys, you gotta check them out. I highly recommend the Razor Company. They got a variety of shit, wet shaving uh, accoutrements on their website from a lot of artisans. They sell brushes, razors, aftershaves, bombs, soaps from a lot of artisans. I highly recommend you guys check that out and they ship fast. It's a great company to buy with from buy from and uh Jason is a great person, a great brother. And I appreciate him very much. Thank you, Jason, for this set of soap. It smells beautiful. I'm enjoying my shave and uh Shannon soap is uh very high quality in my opinion. When I saw the email, I was like, what is this? I didn't buy no Shannon soap. <laughs> then I quickly emailed uh, Jason telling him thank you for the soap set. And he told me no problem. Very generous, very nice of Jason to do that. First pass down, it took a lot of growth off. I didn't expect for the razor to uh, shave my growth off because uh, I didn't know if it was shave ready, but it was. Some of these, uh, sometimes you buy these razors, they say shave ready, but not necessarily they are. Sometimes you find that they're not, and uh, give me a second. Sit down, please. So, uh, let me, wait my, let me draw my razor here. So most of these razors here, they're not, uh, just because they say shave ready, don't mean necessarily that they are. You just won't know until you have them and shave with them. But uh, I enjoyed shaving off my uh, one week's growth with my Waiting Butcher Barber's Use 8 8 uh, square point. This has a slight smile on top of the uh, shank and has horn scales with uh, bullseye pins. <laughs> uh, honeycomb pins, I mean, these are honeycomb pins. She's a great looking razor and uh, I'm happy to have her in my den. Like I was explaining earlier, she was expensive. I'm not gonna go with uh, with the price of the razor because I'm not, I'm just not gonna talk about that, but she was expensive. Usually vintage razors of that uh, kind are expensive. And no one had bid on it, which I was really surprised when I bought it. I put a bid on it and I won because I bid on her on the last second, last four seconds. And uh, no one had bid on that razor. So I was very lucky. After so many tries, I'm trying to get a barber's juice. I finally got lucky with that one. Hey, sit down, please. Sit down. Look at that shine, beautiful shine from the soap. I'm enjoying the shape. Really relaxing. The scent is still medium scented, strong, uh, medium, medium scented. Not strong, but a little bit over medium. I say about a seven st cent streak on the on the scent of the soap, but it lathers very well. With my beautiful brush that Jose made me, and Karina, thank you very much to Dark Sanctum. Okay, now I'm gonna be shaming with my uh, Manhattan Cutlery seven eight square point quarter hollow with uh, caramel bone scales, gold bullseye pins. Or brass pins. Against the grain. Let me see if she cuts. Oh yeah, she's cutting. I'm gonna show you that she's cutting. As soon as I'm done with my neck area right here. Junior, no, don't throw your toys. Do your toys in your bath. What are you doing? 
Okay, you're throwing your toys out. Now I'm going to get them. She's cutting. Awesome. Been really busy trying to restore these last couple of razors this week, and uh, it was a joy to see them how bad they were in bad shape to bringing them back to life. This one has great feedback, not as the other one, I mean, not that the other one doesn't, but this one sings more. Almost done, Papa. We gotta let him know that I'm almost done so he can uh, control himself and I know that I will get him right now. If I don't, then he starts being loud. I'm really enjoying the performance of the soap. It's giving me the shade that I want. This chupacabra scent, it's awesome. So far, she's, she's saving great the blade. So happy with my honing results. I'm still learning. Look at everything else is a learning process. All right, my shave is complete. Let me get a rinse to see where I missed. Oh. Hi, Papa. Little kitty, little handsome boy. Oh, right here underneath my chin. Right here on my sideburn. Let me dry my hands. All right, let's finish this shave. No cut so far, which is awesome. And the residual on the soap, it's, it's pretty great too. I can go over with no problem. Enough residual for uh, for a light touch up. As you can see the residual there on my blade. Awesome. That's my shave there with uh, 
Hold on. Inspiración del uso by Shannon Soaps in collaboration with uh, the Razor Company. Here's the label here in the Chupacabra base. Great base, limited edition, and this is in the Aqua de Gio scent if you guys are interested. Beautiful scented soap. I enjoyed it very much along with the soap base. Never tried the Chupacabra base first time. My razors gave me a phenomenal shave, baby butt smooth shave. On both these beauties here. They did the job tonight. Use my uh, Dark Sanctum Pearl Lesson Metallic color with the bo new bottle caps underneath uh, the brush and it's sealed with resin on the bottom by Jose and Karina. Thank you very much for this beautiful brush. Has a 30 millimeter tuxedo knot on there. Quarter moon knot from Milton at Turning Shift. Got my after splash here, which contains ingredients of, say, shake well before use. This has is alcohol free, witch hazel, water, fragrance, and glycerin. So I'm not gonna get a burn. <laughs> well, Papa, I'm almost done. Shake very well. No alcohol. Very nice scented. Oh, yeah. That completes my shave. Baby butt smooth all around. No issues at all. Like I'll explain, no burn from this aftershave, which is a uh, witch hazel based. Usually with itch, witch hazel based, uh, you don't get a sting. But that feels great. Thank you very much to Jason once again from the Razor Company for this beautiful set. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Excuse me. Thank you for watching and for your support. It means a lot. I got to finish up with Junior, giving him a bath, and uh, have a great Friday night. Thank you for watching. Take care, and I uh, hope to see you on the next shave, hopefully on the weekend. Let's see if I can get one on Sunday for y'all. Thank you once again. Peace out. I forgot to mention real quick, the post of the soap was great. Very, very nice feeling. My face feels fantastic. Just I throw that. I, I thought I'd throw that in for you because I think I forgot in my video. Have a great night.